in this lesson we are going to learn how to identify dependent and in independent variables in differential equations so let's look at the first example that i used to explain this so let's have the differential equation the third derivative of x with respect to y okay plus x multiplying the first derivative of x with respect to y minus 4xy equals 0. With this differential equation here, how are you going to identify the dependent and the independent variables? Okay, so one easy way to identify this is that the dependent variables are always on top, okay, and then the independent variables are always what? on the down part, okay. So we have this kind of derivative here, which is the third derivative of the function x with respect to y. To identify the dependent and the independent variables, know that what the variable on top will be the dependent variable, and then the variable down here. Will be the independent variable so this one is easy to identify dependent and then independent variables okay so let's look at why they are called dependent and then independent if i write dx over dy you can read this as what change in x with respect to respect to y which means what this x here only changes when what y changes so therefore the x here that's the variable x is dependent on what this variable y here if this variable y doesn't change then this variable x will not change so you see that what this variable x is dependent on the variable y so therefore the x becomes the dependent variable and then the y becomes what the independent variable okay so that's why they have the names dependent and the independent variables okay let's take another example Okay, so with this example, to let's try and identify the dependent and then the independent variables. So like I said, the dependent variables are always on top and then the independent variables are out down. So with what we have here, which is what the second derivative of the function i with respect to what t, we will have this i here to be the dependent variable. Okay, and then this t here will be the independent variable okay so we have i to be the dependent and then this t here to be the independent where l r c e and w are constants So you see how the easiest way to identify the dependent variable is that you know it's what it's on there it's part of the numerator and then the independent is part of what the denominator okay let's take another example okay so with this example to let's identify the dependent and then the independent variables so how are you going to do this so to identify the dependent and then the independent variables in this differential equation here i'm going to rewrite the equation we know that what y prime will be equal to what dy over what dx right which is what changing y about changing y with respect to what changing x right and then y prime prime will be equal to what the second derivative of y with respect to what x okay so i'm going to substitute this expressions here into what the equation that we have so we have what x squared plus 
d squared y over the x squared okay plus x multiply with the y over the x plus x squared minus d squared multiplying the equal to zero so after doing this you see that we have what y to be the dependent variable and then x to be the independent variable so this is how to identify dependent and then independent variables in differential equations okay let's take the last example okay so with this example you are going to identify the dependent and then the independent variables what i have here is a partial differential equation because it involves partial derivatives okay so what i have here okay this symbol is known as the del or the partial d okay so you can read this equation as the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus the second partial derivative of u with respect to what t so now you're going to identify the dependent and then the independent variables so in this equation the dependent variable is u okay there is the dependent variable and then we have what two independent variables which is the x and then the t the x and the t are what the independent variables So that's how to identify dependent and independent variables in differential equations.